Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Bluetooth. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the world of Bluetooth keyboards and mice. Bluetooth keyboards and mice are one of the fastest growing areas in the world of Bluetooth. You might think of headsets, and those are pretty popular, but a lot of companies are starting to come out with Bluetooth keyboards and mice for devices on the go. Now, in the past, when you used a wireless keyboard or mouse, you might have had a little dongle that came with it. This was a radio frequency, or RF dongle, and this would actually eat up one of the spaces on your notebook or your desktop machine. The nice thing about using Bluetooth on these is a lot of devices these days have Bluetooth built in. So your notebook might have Bluetooth built in, or your desktop, uh, your iMac, for example, your iPad, and that means that you don't have to add in an extra USB dongle just to accommodate your wireless devices. Now the first step in getting a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse connected to your computer is to go to the Bluetooth control panel on your system. This might appear in your Windows 7 control panel, it might appear down in the system tray, or if you're on a Mac it'll appear under system preferences. Open it up and set it to look for new devices. The next step is to make your device discoverable. In the case of Apple's Magic Mouse, all you have to do is simply turn it on. And now it's discoverable by your computer. With other devices like Microsoft's mobile Bluetooth keyboard here, you might actually have a little button on the back that you have to depress in order to make it discoverable. This will send out a wireless signal to the computer and then you should be able to connect the two. Once your computer sees the device that you want to connect to your system, click on the option for connecting that device. On things like the keyboard here or the keypad that comes with the keyboard, you may actually have to hit a series of keys on the keyboard in order to connect it to your device, just to verify that you actually wanted to do that. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to connect other types of devices together using Bluetooth.